Okay, so today we're going to show you how to turn three ideas or four ideas from two pages. So let's say we choose these four ideas and turn them into a single page, as you can see here. So you can ignore these two boxes here. They're there because I used a free version and not the professional version. What we're going to do is first get the software. So let's go into the internet. Just type in portable PDF exchange and you'll notice there's one called portable apps and another one from Karan PC and this is the one we want because it's the fully fledged version so you'll notice here's PDF exchange editor portable and if you want the installed version it's only about 45 euro but we're going to use this Exchange Editor Plus Portable, the latest, the full version. So we just go down here and you can click any of these links. Remember, it must be the portable version we want. That way you don't have to install anything. You can just run it from a file on your USB stick or from your computer. So click on the direct link, create download link, and we simply download and we'll save that file now what I'm going to do is simply to take this file and put it on the desktop the next thing we need to do is to extract this into the desktop so if you don't have WinRAR you can get WinZip which is free just download the exe file and run it and then simply right click on this file 7-zip extract here and here it is now this file you can put on your pen drive and you can run it on any desktop whatsoever and what happens you have this executable file which will eventually create a folder here so we're going to run this continue next agree and you'll notice that it is actually going to install not in the program installation but in the actual file that was created the desktop PDF exchange file so we're going to install it there and you'll notice a file has appeared here or rather a folder and this is where we will run the program from so finish and now we'll simply open the program double click on this to run the portable app and I'm going to drag in the three documents I want to show you so this one and you'll see it goes on top with its name then this one and finally this one okay so as you can see these are the two pages which I want to use. I want to take four activities, these four in particular, and I want to create this one page document. So let's start by making a new file. So we press file, new document, and with blank pages. Now you can have as many as you want. I just want one for now. So I'll just make that visible as a square. Okay, so we've made a new page and now we need to 
put the different exercises onto it. Remember, we want these four exercises. And we're going to use the camera snapshot. So let's click on that. Now, if I was to camera snapshot this, and you heard it do that, and go back to the page, right click and press paste, it wouldn't be very good because as we zoom in, you can see it took a picture of what was on the screen. So we need to get in closer. So I'm going to delete that, go back to this page and use a one page view. Okay, so I'm going to grab the snapshot and click this area again. Right click, press paste. And now if we zoom in, you'll see that it is a lot clearer. Perfect. So remember, you will need to zoom in to what you want to copy. This next one, you'll notice this is the right way round and this I've turned on its side in order to make it bigger. As you can see, I've done it that way, which just makes this more large, or should I say larger, for the students to write in the area there. So let's go back here. I'm going to take a snapshot of this. Paste that there. And I'm going to take a snapshot of this. Paste that there. And then I'm going to turn it on its side. And that way I can put it there and this one I can make a lot larger because they're actually going to write on this part but here they're just using this for conversation so it doesn't need to be too large. Make that a little bigger. Yeah, that looks looking quite nice. Bit tricky getting this uh, to be straight. Not sure how to do that. But that'll do for now. So, next I want the pictures from the other page. And as you know, the pictures don't really have to be that large, so we're going to take them, paste them here, and make them a lot smaller. They don't really need to be that size. Now, you must remember, as soon as you've pasted something, it will go on the top of what you've done. So remember that in case you want something to go on top of another, if you want something with a white area like that to go behind something. Anyway, let's go back and then we'll get this part which we want to be larger. And now we put this here and you can see it's quite small but we can make it larger. Finally, you, after you've done all of this, if you're happy with everything the way it is, you simply have to comment, press comment and flatten. So by flattening it, it means you can no longer move anything, which is good because we don't want to do that. We don't want to move anything. However, you may want to highlight certain words and 
let's say I wanted to highlight certain answers here or certain mistakes if I went to the highlight tool I can't do anything because the text needs to be recognized optically and to do this we simply go to the convert area press OCR page now you can detect and deskew the page ignore fixed content skewed correct rotation um, I might leave that off I'll just do these three here press OK and when that's done now I can highlight certain words I can use other ways to comment here's the comment area I can underline words I can strike through words so that's how we can now edit it now we need to save it and it will ask to be saved as something else so let's browse where we should uh, save and we'll save it onto the desktop as new document or sport document sport and there you have it that's our page made so let's compare it to the other one let's go to the single page view and if you remember that was the the last one and it looks quite similar obviously certain things have been made bigger or smaller but generally that's as simple as it is to make and you notice I don't have any squares at the top that's because this one was made with a free version that wasn't professional wasn't um, paid for and you notice you get these editor marks here if you want to know how to I did this with the editor marks go to my other online video I'll put a link in the video and you can jump to the specific page where it shows you how to use the free version which has limited use whenever you do what we did whenever you do this um, OCR well the OCR is free on all of it whenever you do the um, flattening then that's where it will say you have to pay a price for this or get the professional version so on this version you ended up with these stamps so again check that other video out if you want to but because we've downloaded the professional version we should be okay and that's all you have to do so you can do this with any document it's also useful because you can also hide certain areas you don't want to be printed for instance this big green area here you can just use a text box to hide the green area and that way it will print white well not print at all really so again most of the other annotations can be seen on my other video which is about 40 minutes long showing you how to do lots of editing before I go you can also switch to the classic tools which I use in the classroom where you can write put arrows do highlights and everything is on the one ribbon as it were so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next video